Today, we are beginning a new segment called Why I Teach. Now we will take a look at the life of Mr. Fosco, a history teacher here at Johnson. I've been at ALJ now for about 10 years, a uh, total of 11 without a contract. I was both um, in charge of in-school suspension and things like that as a, uh, as a substitute teacher here. I student taught under Steven Cigna and I got my first contract here in the year 2000. What could be the most selfish reason the South Koreans did this? Sometimes people ask me why I teach and I would have to say it's because I like it when students embrace my subject with the same enthusiasm I do or when they can appreciate world events in a different way because they know more about them or when they can explain these things to their friends. I think that's what it's all about. Bank took their house. Bank has everything. Uh, all furniture must be sold. Evacuation sale. They're forced out of their house. There's no choice. The Great Depression hits. Boom. And you're just left with what you can carry. Now you're a hobo. For me, history was probably going to be the only subject, from, it, other than perhaps maybe art. And remember, H1N1 is directly related to the same flu we studied from the 1919 through 1921 epidemic that killed 22 million people here and maybe 50 million worldwide. My favorite aspect of teaching has got to be when you see a student who really gets it, was struggling with a concept, and suddenly the lights go on and they stop being scared of the topic. They embrace it and they really get it. When a student gets it and begins to take a peripheral interest in the subject, when I can generate an interest outside of my classroom, I think that is ultimately the best thing about teaching. It was a North-South Korea issue once again, except this was a little more hostile than today. I was always interested in history. Uh, my father came to me when I was about fourth grade and uh, he's like, son, we can go to Disneyland or uh, we can go to Italy and see the family. But if we go to Italy, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. I was probably one of maybe five kids in the entire nation who voted Italy. For me, he promised to take me to the city of Pompeii, which was covered in a, a volcanic disaster in 79 AD. And I remember in fourth grade walking through the halls and walking in the streets of that town, and I was struck at how modern their pictures were. The graffiti was still on the walls. And I think by fourth grade, if I didn't already know that I was a history nerd, it was painfully obvious after that. Students today are different than the ones I first taught. But by and large, I think students in general uh, haven't really changed much over the course of years. Um, one of the inspirational figures I studied kind of lent me a little two cents on education. He said that students today, they dress in rags, they have no respect for their elders, and they do whatever they want. Uh, Socrates said that probably around 400 BC, uh, which gives us an inclination that modern students are no different from ancient students. And we always worry, worry about you guys a little too much. Are you dressing appropriately? Are you showing enough respect? That's always been an issue in education, I think, and no different today. Outside of school, I play hockey in an adult rec league. Um, I sometimes uh, skydive with my brother, who's an instructor. Um, things like that I think are pretty fun, uh, but by and large, most of what I do outside of school is reading books so I can learn how to bore you guys more properly the next day. But it puts that look on your face when you can't take care of your loved ones. History is really the baby pictures of the human race, and it's familiarizing students with all the trials and tribulations before they got into the classroom. If they can appreciate history, they can appreciate their past, and I think it helps them appreciate their present. And to me, that's one of the most rewarding things in education. Thank you, Mr. Fosco, for your time and cooperation. Back to you guys.